Alright guys, room tour. This is the king size bed. TV. Of course there's some water. And just out here basically. Unfortunately that's not a pleasant view. <laughs> And then, of course, the bathroom. Oh, nice shower with a bath. And yeah. Right guys, so this is obviously, you know, a good weekend so far. Today, obviously, as you see throughout the video, went to Harrods, did, had some food, just obviously recently had tea, which, in this hotel, and so far the hotel's great, you know, it's literally just like next not that far from the O2 Arena but however WWE right so basically let's start with predictions here shall we so with the money in the bank men's and women's match because I'm not cause again like I'm not really that much in interested in the women's matches because I feel like they haven't like built up the rivalry rivalries very well and I think that's one thing you know I've kind of noticed more in WWE is that they've been focusing heavy-handed on the male superstars but not as much with the female wrestlers because like I think of Oscar at the moment like her title run at the moment is not great in my opinion there was no story development. They just shoved Charlotte as like a last minute match for her. And honestly, like, we just don't need Charlotte anymore. Despite everyone saying we don't need her and whatnot, she should not be, keep on having a title opportunity every time. It, like in WWE is all about opportunity and earning it anyway. So like, why not do like and that's one thing I hate about WWE is that they give certain superstars a title match without letting them do a bit of like a number one contenders match or or build it for a rivalry like they've done nothing like that in terms of that so Triple H take notes if you ever see this channel you know just a little the bics here and there just like add more story to the females but still on that same level with the male superstars like i'm not saying like the male superstars don't deserve the spotlight i feel like triple h has done really well in terms of create creative because like i mean the best thing we had proud drew i think near drew this year and last year was the whole bloodline storyline and I think that's probably going to outlive them all and they're going to reflect on that as much because that is you know a big reason why WWE is hitting off is because of the bloodline storyline when they had Sami Zayn the Usos obviously Roman as the champion which gives me a nitpick here with Roman right is that he's got the unified titles and when he has that title, Heyman's carrying the other titles. And why is he having the other one? Why is he still having the other ones? Like, WWE needs to find a way to strip Roman from those two titles and just let him keep that unified. 
horrible golden title. Like, I'm sorry, but I think the new title design is crap. They've gone with the same, like, design choice, but just coated it with gold. Like, they need to make something unique. Like, make something original, like, and, and I think, you know, in terms of titles, like, the word, new heav heavyweight champion, that's a reasonable one, because we haven't had that for donkeys. And just from where we're coming off now with WWE, obviously, obviously they've treated Roman's title reign as good there. It's like they're keeping Roman for that other wrestler reign. It's like they're trying to go down that road, but you can't do that forever. You can't keep them having the title off for long, longer periods of times. Like, and, and this has got back to add another issue. Roman's not defending the title on certain pay-per-views. And that is gonna be a big issue in terms of WWE's like build and hype to pay-per-views. Because you don't have a main main event uh, title match. And that used to be like, you know, every time when you went to a pay-per-view, you always had like a main event title match. Ex maybe except for like some like Survivor Series or some other ones. Obviously Money in the Bank is different, obviously, because like you have you know these different traditional pay-per-views but the ones which are you know main event title worthy ones you do that and roman has been treated as if you know as if he's he's doing it on his own terms and if he's doing it on his own terms then that's going to be an issue because he has not defended his title ever since probably for a while now and I think tomorrow will be great because obviously he's doing the tag team match against Usos with Sol Solo Sokoa by his side. And obviously you would obviously have Paul Heyman ringside anyway. And it's very usual. But again, it's back to that reign with his title reign as like God knows how many days now at this point. But again, it's so sad to see WWE like treat Roman like he is the ultimate title holder like one thing I do find ha good is how they're treating Seth Rollins with the World Heavyweight Championship like Seth Rollins is defending it much better than Roman honestly I think Seth deserves more this year because obviously he works so so much WWE for the past couple of years he's had some amazing history we all know back at like WrestleMania, I think it was 31, where he cashed it in on on Roman and Lesnar. He turned into a double threat and he won the WWE title there back then. Came on to having the best storylines of the Shield finale. Of how, and you, you all know how that ended up. Obviously with Dean Ambrose in a AEW. It's always a good thing to reflect for them for that but I think you know but yeah but again going back because I'm subtract so prediction so for the men's ladder match I've, I've got two number one LA Knight because I feel like they've been pushing LA Knight because it, almost every week He's had a good crowd pop. Like everyone's going, L A night. Like you're seeing like a new person or a new superstar who's who might be, you know, the next face of the WWE. And I feel like they might be treating them like that one day. But obviously I think, honestly, I think obviously two, so my number one, I think it will be LA Knight winning the briefcase. But number two, this might be controversial because of, you know, what everyone knows, Logan Paul about the crypto scam and whatnot. And obviously he's a scumbag for it. And again, this is just my opinion. And I think, you know, 
what what he's done in the past in terms of like his game or or cash grab websites app like either way it's still not right not given the people who have bought those crypto card game stuff and not give them their money back even though it is a scam but at the same time you know as much as you know I hate Logan for this with his scams not being I don't think he's being open but but at the same time I do see WWE ignoring this but at the same time push them to win the briefcase for for views and reactions and I believe that might be worst case scenario I might be right I might be wrong but I've got a feeling that's gonna be like the case in my opinion and you know WWE has been amazing so far this year like they've gotten better with their certain storylines but obviously they f felt like they're treating the women like mostly tag teams like it's constant tag team segments so much on like Raw and Smackdown I think Smackdown handles well with rivalries and story a bit but Raw it's just been awful it's like it's like it's like two different creative teams it feels like Vince is back doing Raw but a little bit on Smackdown but I feel like Triple H has been doing Smackdown and Vince is doing Raw I might be right or wrong here I'm just you know giving my honest opinion here but I do feel like what's going on with WWE I truly believe there is something to do with Vince helping with creative and we all know what he's like in terms of creative like view viewership went down on YouTube even on television ratings it's been really bad when he when he handles it which is why it needs to be ha needs to be handled more in a professional side on what the business is meant to do is to do good rivalries put out good matches like blockbuster matches obviously you know they're doing cuts at the moment which is fair enough but at least commit to, to do better and adapt because if you don't if you keep doing like the same like stupid repetitive things then people are not going to no longer watch WWE and I think that's why WWE is going down a little bit is because of Vince because honestly I think all of this is on Vince because Vince is not the best in terms of creative like he, he's not calling creative and you know allegations we had a few years ago of that scandal but I'm not getting into much detail about that again like Seth, Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor I think Seth's gonna win just with how his title run I don't see his title run ending anytime soon I think he's gonna win that because it seems like they're keeping him a bit like for like you know a couple of months until like there's like a truly good story for him for another opponent in, ter in terms of the future near the end of this year maybe or or the beginning of 2024 and let's just say I'm not too keen with the women's title match like I hate, I hate, again as I said, I hate the fact that they're not doing anything with story. It's, un, it's uninteresting, Oscar. And obviously recently, Gunther versus Riddle. I think Gunther's gonna win. Walter, I don't know what his original WWE name was, but I think it's Gunther now. I think Gun I think Gunther Water, bear with me guys. It's more like a better It's like as if they do they know what they're doing with him. Seems like they're handling very well with him. But yeah. And that's basically my predictions. And basically 
you know, t to wrap, you know, Friday up here. Just like, ugh. I can't speak today, guys. Like, because obviously I did quite a bit of walking. I'm a bit tired. I'll get to sleep soon and then be prepared for tomorrow. These may be recorded like a week ago, if you're wondering, which is why I'm uploading this. The weekend after, if you have seen a bit of a horrible difference, that's obviously because of the special video recently and whatnot, but, but yeah, down my neck, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.
There it is, guys, the first case. Setting everything up. Entrance. And the pools. 